why yes you read the title correctly i have another candle haul because some people love to buy a ton of clothes and your girl loves to buy a ton of candles i mean sue me don't actually though i just i love a few things in life and candles being one of them so most of these i did purchase on my own but the candles by jackie that i received were sent to me because she is so kind and saw that i reviewed candles online and i told her i really loved her stuff her stuff is so cool i cannot wait to show you what she sent me and it's homemade wax i love supporting small businesses and especially women who run small businesses so i was so excited when i was looking through her stuff I I found her from Jackie McManus and she couldn't stop raving about her and said you have to try her stuff out and I love watching Jackie's review so if you don't follow her go check her out I'll leave it down below she is just a ray of sunshine and I I get so excited every time I see her pop up on my feed but I reached out to her and she said let me send you some stuff and you can smell them and I just ordered with my own money a bunch of her products as well because once I got home and I smelled these I was like I need to try some other stuff and I got a wax melter finally so things are looking good for my apartment it's gonna smell real dang good in here so Jackie sent me this adorable cereal candle you guys, I don't think you realize how much I love cereal. Cereal is one of my favorite foods in life. I don't eat it that often because I just would, I would eat the whole box in a day if I could. But it's a candle. Come on. This is amazing. I need to unwrap it for you guys so you can really get the full effect of what it looks like. Give me one second. What? This is wax. This is wax, people. Hashtag don't eat the wax has never been more true in this case I saw that in Southern Comfort's video yesterday and I about peed my pants Sometimes something smells so good you just want to eat it But this literally looks so good and smells so good you would forget there's a spoon It's like telling you take a bite This smells like Fruit Loops The Key Lime Pie from Bath & Body Works smells exactly like this candle And this is specifically meant to smell like Fruit Loops But how realistic is this? She has amazing candles She has pies she has sundays she has banana split you have got to check out her stuff i'm actually going to burn this while i show you the wax melts that she sent me but come on this is adorable it is so cute and her her candles are extremely extremely reasonable i mean you guys are paying 14.95 usually for a bath and body works candle and you can get her products that are homemade made with tender love and care and at a great price so definitely go check her out let me go burn this really quickly and I'll talk about my wax melt I'm gonna try to keep this short but you know me I just talk 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 and it becomes a 25 minute video so I'm gonna try because we got some Yankee candles also to talk about I want to light this with you guys so that we all get the full experience first impressions together I'm genuinely gonna tell you what I think so far on cold phenomenal how does she make it look like Fruit Loops like that's not Fruit Loops that is wax Okay, let me go put this over here. That candle is just so stinking adorable. I can't. I ordered a little pie because I'm just so intrigued with this realistic wax. I'm into it. My money needs to be reeled back because that could be very dangerous. So for the wax melts that I got, she knows that I love, love, love anything marshmallow. And so does Jackie. And so I saw in her video, she sent her a marshmallow fluff and she was like, Kaylee, you are going to love this. It smells like gooey marshmallow. So this is how cute she is. She pays attention to detail, all right? And in all of her wax melts, she adds a little extra something in there. And so she added marshmallows for the marshmallow fluff. And it does. It smells like marshmallow fluff. There's even a little glitter in here. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I ordered a Scentsy uh, wax melter off of off of Scentsy. Duh, I just said that. But I got it through uh, Jackie because she sells Scentsy and I'm so excited. It is adorable. And she says that their wax melters are very good and that's all she used. So I'm pumped. She also sent me this Love Spell wax melt and it says do not eat, which is hilarious because it's so true. If you guys are Victoria's Secret fans, I was obsessed with Love Spell. It's funny she sent me this because she has no idea. But in middle school, that's the only perfume I would wear. I was so obsessed and it is so true to the smell. I don't know, did you, Jackie, did you call up Victoria's Secret and ask them what fragrance is in their perfume? Because spot on, dead on. And I don't really love floral. This is... A very sweet floral fragrance in my opinion like super super sweet 
um, a little more sweet than floral. And I don't love floral fragrances usually. So this was one of my favorites, go-tos. And then she also sent me A Thousand Wishes. I believe that was a BBW candle. I, I can't remember. I thought I had like confetti on it. But, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even show you this. I didn't even show you guys what the love spell looks like up close. But again, attention to detail. She has a little bit of confetti in here. So I guess that candle from BBW kind of looks like this. I don't know. Um, sprinkles. So this is floral. And I usually do not like the floral. But, 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 I really like this. It smells like body care. It smells like body care. Um, I don't know. I'm... I may not like it when it's burning because sometimes it smells different, but so far I really enjoy this one. So I wonder what the exact notes in Thousand Wishes are. I'm gonna write her and ask because I'm, I'm curious. And then the last thing she sent me was a strawberry marshmallow because I told her I loved marshmallow. And she has on here, oh, something broke, but that's okay. There are the two marshmallows and then the pink sparkles in here. And I love this one. I absolutely love this one. This is gonna be really exciting to melt. I cannot wait. I also ordered from her a few other marshmallow ones, like a zucchini bread, a cherry crumb pie. Uh, the pie, the realistic pie I got was an apple pie. I wanted to get three, but I really gotta reel it back with the money because we're going on a honeymoon. Um, okay, so if you're here for the Yankee candles, I'm about to talk about that. So thank you guys for watching my little Candle by Jackie haul. Again, support small local businesses. If you love candles and you want to try something else besides your go-to Yankee candles or BBW, try hers out. She's so good at customer service. Her candles so far, like they looked great online, but receiving them, it's on another level. Um, this is burning right now. The wax is melting. I haven't smelled anything yet, so I'll let you know how it throws while I'm ending this review. Okay, let's talk Yankee candles. Yankee, Yankee, Yankee. Man, do we have problems with Yankee candle. And I was shocked, I was just as shocked as everybody else when I ended up buying six, seven, eight, yeah, eight things from Yankee Candle. And only, I only did this because, again, Jackie sent me a little note saying, Kales, they're having a big, glitch on Yankee Candle and what it was is if you buy two jars you get two free so you're getting four candles and the little kick was you buy the candles that were already on sale sale so I bought the candles that were $13.50 and then got two free no no it was buy one get two free I think I don't know, point is, is I only spent 30 bucks for all these candles, and that's shocking when it comes to Yankee Candle. That's why I don't buy them. It's because they're so expensive, and they don't throw. So when I heard from Heart and Soul that they were throwing, I was really excited because some of their Farmer's Market collection looks really good. So I picked a few up there, and I want to talk about it. I picked up the Strawberry Lemon Ice Candle because I saw this on Tina DeVelicious's, I believe, like, one of his collection hauls and he said that he really liked this one but it has zero throw look how cute the front is i love it it has that sorry i have a terrible glare look at the strawberry popsicle it's adorable i really do love those labels when they get their shit together but sometimes they don't and they give a label like this big um anyways i enjoy this wax as well i think yankee candle has one of the best wa best waxes it just looks so so homemade and just it's pretty looking and I love the bubbles and then on the sides it's almost like marbleized throughout and it shows the layers I really really enjoy that compared to BBW's it's just like one solid color um I don't love this candle so far it smells nice it smells a little too floral and not enough fruity to me so we will see I picked this up for Ryan because Ryan loves strawberry scents the next candle I picked up is the grilled peaches and vanilla from the Sunday brunch collection Again, look how cute the label is. It's very true to what it means. Grilled peaches reflects on the label. I really like the smell of this candle. Absolutely love it. And I was burning it before I started this video to see how it threw. I didn't, I didn't let it pull out all the way, but what are you gonna do? I wanted to review it, so I took it, you know, I blew it out. 
Um, anyways, I, re I really like the smell of this candle. I don't know if it's gonna throw. If it doesn't, I just, I'm gonna enjoy keeping it in my collection and smelling it every now and then. And honestly, if it just sits out, I could smell it if it was next to my bed um, on this table. So that's nice. The next candle I wanna discuss is the candle that got really, really melted in the mail. Like, look how melted. That is melted. <laughs> Yikes, malfunction. Um, and I, I was really excited for this candle because I really enjoy, this is a Woodwick candle. If you've never heard of Woodwick, I love them because literally the wick is wood. So when you burn it, it crackles like a real fireplace. <gasps> oh, I love fireplaces. So I picked up the oatmeal cookie and I'm obsessed with this scent. It is such a good scent. It literally smells like a spiced oatmeal cookie at its finest, and I'm really bummed that it turned into this. But what I am excited about is their customer service was on top of it, and they were like, don't worry about it, we'll send you a new one. So I'm gonna be getting one in the mail again. It's very hot here, so hopefully I don't have that happen to me again. But that scent is phenomenal. If you love oatmeal, oatmeal cookies like I do, anything oatmeal I'm obsessed with, I cannot wait to bring this candle. It's gonna be perfect, like a transition into fall or just during Christmas time when you're baking your cookies. Actually, I don't ever burn candles when I bake cookies because I just wanna smell the cookie scent that is in the oven. The next candle I got is from the new Farmer's Market collection and it's the Persimmon and Brown Sugar. I I heard about this from Hearth and Soul's channel and he was like, actually, this is a surprisingly really good candle. And I've never had a persimmon in my life but your girl loves brown sugar, so I was like, let's just give it a shot. Um, I can't really figure out what it smells like to me. You definitely pick up on some fruity note in here, and then there is a sweetness. The brown sugar does come through a lot, and this is the wax. It's almost like this burnt orangey red color. It's really pretty. And then the label. Look how pretty that label is. It makes you want to bake a pie. I definitely think this will be like a September candle for me. It smells really good to me. Um, the one that really didn't smell good to me, like, I hate it. I absolutely hate this candle and I don't know how I'm gonna exchange it because I don't have any candle around me, but is the Farm Stand Festival. Stand away from this candle because it literally smells like somebody next to you has B.O. I'm gonna open this. It's it's weird. It has like an after scent. You know how you usually eat something and you're like, ooh, it's good. And then all of a sudden, you get an aftertaste that's just like, nope, not gonna eat that again. Well, this is what this candle is doing for me. I'm like, ooh, berries. Oh God, B.O. No. If anyone is into that, the label's cute. The label got me. See? Little little cups of, I believe, cider out there and got some fruit in a bowl, cute little plaid everywhere, hay in the background. No, not gonna do it. Not gonna be burning that one, not a chance. I'm gonna try to exchange it. Hopefully they do mail exchanges because I can't, cannot with that one. Uh, the gingerbread maple was the other one that I picked up and this is just a great Christmas candle. I believe I've smelled this before. It's pretty much just a strong ginger scent with like a slight hint, hint of maple. I don't really get like a bakery note to it. It doesn't really smell like cookies or bread. It really just smells like ginger and maple or maple syrup were like stirred up in a little bowl. I like it, I don't hate it. I mean, ginger and maple, you can't really go wrong with those two scents. Well, I guess you could go wrong, but that candle, it was fine. I liked it. Sorry, I need to take a little break because my legs are sweating, butt cracks sweating, everything is sweating. I mean, it is so hot in LA right now. Oh, and I don't have the AC on because you guys won't hear me. So, dedication at its finest. And then the last one is my tried and true apple pumpkin. This candle is the candle that got me into Yankee Candle in the first place. And this is the second candle next to my coconut milk mango, which was the first candle like I ever burned and fell in love with and wanted to hoard. This was the next one I smelled and I was like, oh, this is fall for me. This is what makes me feel like fall. And I love 
I love candles and scents so much because it really does tie into a nostalgic uh, time in your life or a memory and scents are so great at sparking that. So that's why I really, really love candles so much and they just let you, you know, go back in time a little bit. And so this candle just gets me every time I smell it. I hadn't been buying it though because I had bought it a few years ago and it just didn't smell. Bath and Body Works has one that is just as good and I could smell it. It would fill my whole entire room. But again, there's something about this whack. Well, hopefully with the new CEO, they can get it together because I do really love Yankee Candle. I think there's something, there's like the OGs in my mind. So the last thing I picked up was a wax melt. Well, actually I ordered the medium jar and it didn't come to me. And for some reason I got a wax melt. Again, I had to call. They said, I will send you the medium jar. And it is the Cider House. I'm so excited. This is the most excited one of the new uh, farmer's market collection that I really, really, really wanted to try. because. All the reviews said it was a phenomenal scent and I got the wax melt see it's a little melted it's coming I don't want to get this all over my bed but I want to refresh my mind of what it smells like but oh, it's so good it's so spicy mmm it just smells like apple cider and cranberry yeah you definitely get cranberry in there which I believe is an apple cider right I don't know. At least the apple ciders I make, I have cranberries in it. I always like throw them if I make homemade, I throw them on the top. Adds a little pop to the way it looks and the taste. But I love this scent. I'm so excited that I'm gonna now have this as a little extra gift because they're sending me the jar. All right, well, that's about it for all of my candles that I got for this little candle haul. I guess it wasn't so little. I literally got a lot of candles. The next candle video you guys are gonna see is my fall online exclusive Bath & Body Works haul. I got them in, hmm, I got some things to say about this. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys are having a lovely day. I hope you guys are doing something good for yourself today. And oh, I also, I watched Tina Delicious's like hour long video that he did and one, if he ever watches this, he probably won't. Um, don't stop reviewing candles. He seemed like a little discouraged at the end. Two, it's so true. Like when you watch these videos, it's, I watch these videos for the personality, not necessarily for the candles because I have Bath & Body Works near me. Um, a Yankee Candle I don't, but Bath and, Bed Bath & Beyond usually have them so I can smell them. So I understand that a lot of people do watch the candle reviews because they don't have them and that's why they watch them to figure out if that's the scent that they'll like. But just a reminder, scents are subjective and you really can't tell what you're gonna like until you go smell it yourself. So when I watch these videos, I watch them for you, the personality, and I hope that doesn't discourage him by any means to stop videotaping because I really like his videos. They're so fun to watch. So my point, my point of all of that is, is that, you know, candle scents are subjective. Everybody has their own opinion and everyone gets different batches and variations. And I truly believe in batch variation because uh, Hearth and Soul said that his peanut butter jelly candle smelled like cologne and I don't want to tell you my review yet because it's going to be in the next one but let me tell you mine was a completely different experience and it wasn't a good one but it was a completely different experience so you know it's just there's so many variables involved in getting candles and in the wax community and people's opinions so just watch things for fun okay Anyways, I'll stop rambling. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you wanna keep up with me and see all the other videos that I do. I don't just do candle videos. I have a lot of other lifestyle videos that I like to do, but I definitely am, I said in my last video that, or two videos ago, that I really wanna keep doing candle videos because I enjoy them and I buy a lot of candles, so why not just make videos about them? All right, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. I forgot to tell you real quick, I'm back. Hey, this candle smells phenomenal. It's still pulling out, it's still pulling out. The Fruit Loops are melting, but it smells great. Okay, I literally will see you in my next video now, bye.